Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get your back. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? I think you killed it. Look up there! Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Here. Boy. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the light elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. I'm ready. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. fit together. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? Let's get started then. Where were you even carrying those? That should tide you over. Suppose you could try keeping that clean?
I say so myself. Good. Also, remember to breathe. Well, oh, that's something. Amazing. Don't let the dragger get you. Oh, I could use a distraction. I probably shouldn't let my brother lay hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. What else was there?
Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Again, I said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... Evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us. So they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. the elves can't work things out. How if I'm such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier, Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory.
yourself boys be valuable.
Sindri said mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? Bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something, I think. together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the sand bowl Who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well... Good thing I didn't drink any seawater, right? Yes, it is. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish rune. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! 
It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard, uh, it was hard to make out. But way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. That was worth it.
You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Here. It's too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Ugh. 
more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Good either. Well, there it is. Watch our backs, boy. that up there.
bridge back. We must find a way up. Makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. Look, the blue door. We made it. You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. This way. Hey, Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Whoa. You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. here before us, Dwarf. We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you... They make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? 
Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? <sighs> Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Oh, I could use a distraction. Travel safe, you two. Another one here. Hmm. The giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? Inside. Of course.
Now that's impressive. <laughs> Read it. From darkness, keep safe the light. Didn't do a very good job, did they? There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. How would they do that? Look, another light off. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. side. Follow me.
you must learn efficiency, boy. the pathways. Where do we go from here? We're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light? How do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Is that a bad thing? If we... <laughs> Quiet! I have him. You're not for him. Check our flight. Yes, sir. Keep shooting, boy. I will clear our path. Okay. 
Shorten the time between your volleys. There are many targets. You will not miss. The narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay focused. Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I Stay go. here. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except... I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere.
What have you done? Why did you do that? I saved you! You were trapped in there! I waited and I waited, but you wouldn't come out! So I pulled you out! Boy! I was gone only... Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time! I didn't know what to do! You left me here! Again! <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. That stairway's blocked. There's a white crystal ahead, just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place.
crystal if you find me an angle. <sighs> Let us make our way back up. This is block two. Where are you taking that? Look here. You gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. Oh look! The blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? Maybe instead of looting a sacred temple, we could just get out of here? If I want your opinion, boy, I will ask for it.
You can reach the bowl now. Uh-huh. What does this mean? Seed. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, it's seed. Stupid riddles. So, it's a door after all. Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Ben. hold the light up so I could see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. I am.
Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. Boy, shoot. I know how it works. use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here.
No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here- If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine.
We'll need something to get through this one. Pushing the light. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. 
There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Where shall we begin? If you're not in a hurry. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm, it happens again. You tell me, understand? I promise.
top of the oven. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. 